talked about last night in the nightly news. Leanne and I were talking about the new, uh, there, there's a, a ballot initiative coming up in November in Ohio of, uh, about, uh, what was it, uh, 20 different- uh, Yeah, about, about like, like these 10 people yeah. will be in charge of all of the marijuana operations in all of the land. There will only be 10 be places where they can grow it. It's about $20 million yes. it's put up by a small group of people. They already right. have picked out the 10 places that will be allowed to be uh, grown uh, wh where they'll grow it. And of course, they're going to control that. And then they'll have a limited number of retail outlets. Guess who's going to wind up controlling those yeah, as well? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so no one no one has the opportunity to become an entrepreneur in the marijuana industry. Well, a, lot of, a lot of people are asking right now on Twitter, hey, what can I do if I don't really make a lot of money? How can I contribute to InfoWars? How can that help out? Oh, well, there's this a group. If there's a lot go, of things you can do. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead yeah, and if you go to infowars.com forward slash money bomb, we have a media packet for our affiliates, and you can go on there, download the media packet, and take it to your local TV station, to your local radio station. Say, hey, there's the InfoWars Nightly News, there's the Alex Jones Show. We think you guys can put this on your programming. We would definitely watch it, and that would add. Uh, to our program without costing them a dime. That's yeah. so very important. To, but there's another thing we can do too. We can hijack these events. If you go go on the Infowars store, say you don't have $100, $50 to contribute, $19.95, you can go get the Hillary for Prison t-shirt. I did this at the Donald Trump event. If there's a Hillary Clinton event coming into your neck of the woods, go there, put a t-shirt <laughs> over it, yeah. go in there, hijack that event, take it off and show your Hillary for Prison. This will get you engaged in conversation. It'll make you stand out and it'll be a good thing for the info we also share the articles share the videos there's mm -hmm. so much to do yeah. not everyone has the money to contribute i understand that we don't need yes. everybody to do that that's, that's right. great and all but all you got to do is just go out there and talk to your friends and family put up some stickers engage in conversation and share the information that we have and that'll help us reach that 400 million as well use right. social media share articles on social media talk about the money Retweet. bomb on social okay. media if you can't uh, contribute but as Jakari was pointing out, it's very, very important that we have stations that cover this. If we get it up on uh, the satellite, and we will have it up on the satellite one way or the other, Alex is committed to this. But uh, that's very important that we have stations that sign up for this. If enough of you keep harassing the station manager, they'll do it. It's free to air for them. So it's not any cost to them. If they know people want to see it, they don't have any cost in it. Well, All right, well, just, I have think a of the, just think of the effect that Trump has had just in the last few months on the American people simply for saying outrageous things that politicians don't normally say. So the people in the country, they've really responded to that because they're saying, wow, I never hear this. He's saying the truth. Imagine if that was the same thing if Infowars was on the television and when people are flipping through the channel and they're getting the news and they're saying, wow, I never hear this on the news. What is the show I'm watching? This is the truth. And you see how hungry this country is for the truth, how quickly they will respond to something that they're, they know it's not a program. Yes. And just in proof positive of what Leanne was saying is just think about how Alex started on Access Television. You know, and then now he's, he's in this huge uh, studio with uh, all the equipment and the crew, and it's just one guy who was speaking the truth, and people gravitated towards that. The truth right. is very powerful, and, and Donald Trump told the people the truth about immigration. And even though he did it in a very blunt way that offended a lot of people, it was still the truth. And it's very powerful. And so that's that's exactly as Leanne was saying. People see that in the news, and that's what we try to do. We're not always right. Uh, if we make a mistake, unlike Dan Rather, we're not going to go down with it. Uh, I just, I'm looking at this new uh, movie that's coming out, The Truth Redford. with Robert Redford. Yeah. And it's like, I understand if he could make a mistake, but they kept hammering that when Double it was down. quite obvious exactly. They, they knew that they had said the wrong thing, and out of pride or out of a political agenda, they continued to push that false narrative, and it took them down. We don't do that. We make mistakes, but we'll tell you when we make mistakes. We try to tell the truth, and that is something that is very powerful. Again, if you can help us, that number is 888-253-3139. Check out the specials that we have. Everything is free shipping uh, until 10 p.m. We have 30% off of Super Male Vitality. That's a special. We're running different uh, specials every hour, and that's a special that is going on right now. Super Male Vitality, 30% off, free shipping on everything at the store. Let's go back to the debate. Seeking advice from the foreign policy experts in the Republican side.
They, they served in my dad's administration, my brother's administration. Oh, that poor policy that advice about but weapons of mass man. destruction. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Based on oh, yeah. He's like, oh, and, and they're all the same people running the show behind the scenes. So stop the craziness of the sequester. Rebuild our military so that our so that we don't deploy people yeah. over and you know, over. Uh, yeah, because you know, it completely broke down. <laughs> it disappeared. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we can they stop giving that money to ISIS and give it to our own military. How about that? Stop dropping the weapons to ISIS. and Yeah. <laughs> and bring them home. As Gerald Salenti said, stop the wars, close the foreign bases, let's rebuild our infrastructure here at home. Right, the empire ago, will fall. My brother started. The world is dramatically different. Yeah, it and is I dramatically different. Thanks your to brother. your brother. <laughs> Thank you. Thank know, you for destroying have, our rule of law. Uh, Joe Biggs back in the Twitter station. I'm just curious, Joe, did you start your military campaign under, under Bush? Yeah. Okay, and then what was your experience with that? All right, so when I joined, it was back in early 2000s. I was young, you know, uh, very uh, not informed as I am now, to say the least, after being at InfoWars and waking up to a lot of things that are going on. Well, you said and, somebody gave you loose change when you were in country, right? Well, yes, I, yeah. I, had, I deployed. That documentary. I, I, yep, I joined at a, at a young age, and I was actually deployed over in Iraq, and it was my first deployment. And I went to one of the, the local bazaars, and I was trying to get, a, it was a Jean-Claude Van Damme action movie or something. <laughs> something to pass the time, you know. I've come off the battlefield, and I guess I wanted to watch someone do some splits and kick some people in the head. <laughs> so I take this DVD home, you know, to my little uh, bunker, and I put it in, and it says, Loose Chain. And I'm sitting there going, oh, hold on. I was like, speaking of Loose Chain, I just got ripped off. I was like, <laughs> I thought I was about to watch, you know, this awesome action movie. And here I am, it's talking about 9-11 and all this. I was like, wow, what a Debbie Downer. I already know about 9-11. That's why I'm out here to stand up against the terrorists over there, the bad guys, and to help uh, save, you know, good old America. Then I watched the video, and my eyes were like, boom. And my, my mind opened up, and I began to stop, sit back, and reflect on my decisions, my entire life, what's going on, what's my country doing, why am I here? Did I really sign up for the right reasons? Hang on a second, Joe. We got uh, Donald Trump telling us how he wasn't fooled by the weapons of mass destruction. Let's Iraq and I fought it. Come back. Because what I said to you, he man, fought the war in Iraq. He said, "You're going to you're going to destabilize the Middle East, me. and that's what happened." So he's you, referred to me. No, the first remarks. chance. May I make a response? Right after me, Go ahead, I'll, I'll yield my, yield the floor. What do you guys say in the Senate when you're talking and debating? Absolutely. Go Whatever. ahead. Here's the fact. Whatever. When Donald Trump talks about judgment, what was his position on who would have been the best negotiator to deal with Iran? It wasn't a Republican. It was Hillary Clinton. That's what you believe. I mean, the lack of judgment and the nice lack of understanding about how the Nice way to dodge the fake war in Iraq. Really yeah. In this kind of time that that we're a, so, hey, did everybody catch that, that, how he moved that along? Why don't you go talk about your brother's advisor? Donald Trump was just talking about how he wasn't fooled by the Iraq war, and Jeb Bush comes back and says, well, let's talk about Hillary Clinton instead. That Abraham Lincoln couldn't have been elected. You know what? As it relates to my brother, there's one thing I know for sure. He kept us safe. I don't know if you remember. <laughs> he didn't keep me safe. Hey, Joe, talk, talk about that. Did he, he took our freedom, but we're Did safe. he really just say that? He yeah. said that. Jeff really said that. Really yeah, he kept us safe. I've got That's a lot of buddies who are dead, Everybody's missing safe legs, prison, missing arms, right? Unless you're yeah. from the wars his brother fellow. created. Yeah. That's complete and total BS. Yeah. 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 And he did keep us safe. I don't know. You feel he kept us safe. He really kept us safe. No, he just, he, he, hey, never forget, Jeb, never forget. Obama, we've had a president who called ISIS the JB squad. They have Yemen installed fear because of his entire campaign. They call him Jeb, and he earned that. This is a nation that led <laughs> by that fear now the because of that man. said that. Yeah. <laughs> I earned that. Well, I guess he kept you safe by, you know, you know, taking away all your rights so you can't really do anything. Hey, man, I got my TSA pat down like three times in the past week, man. I'm doing good. I feel yeah. safe. That's freedom right there. Yeah. Yay, tyranny. <laughs> Look at who's been tested. When there were 100,000 protesters in my capital, I didn't back down. When they issued death threats against me and threats against my family, I didn't back down. When they tried to recall me, I didn't back down. He set up those evil down. union when guys. If licks could kill, I mean, they had blood coming out of all their When they got me to play I one mean, of the who's from Whoville, I didn't back down. <laughs> yeah. On the podium opposed to the Iraq war, I've made my career as being an opponent of the Iraq war. I was opposed to the Syrian war. I was opposed to arming people who are our enemies. Iran is now stronger because Hussein is gone. Hussein was the great bulwark and counterbalance 
to uh, the Iranians. So when we complain about the Iranians, you need to remember that the Iraq war made it worse. Originally, Governor Bush was asked, was the Iraq war a mistake? And he said, no, we'd do it again. We have to learn sometimes the interventions have to learn from our mistakes, yeah. yeah. But it wasn't a mistake, so I'm not gonna learn from it. We double down on our mistakes. Yeah. We have to make the decision now in Syria. Should See, we topple if he was an honest man, Jeb Bush would learn from his mistakes. But since he and his brother are liars, they just continue to lie to us. I understand that Governor Bush's name has been invoked, and then we can go to you, Senator Rubio. Here's the lessons of history. When we, we pull back, voids are created. We left Iraq. We should have had a, a forces agreement to stay there with a small force. And instead of that, we politically and militarily pulled back. And now we have the creation of ISIS. 36 days ago in this very library, yeah, you knew that I gave a happen. speech with a comprehensive strategy how to take out so ISIS. We need an American empire on which the sun never sets. We, we invade countries and we have to stay there forever. We certainly mm -hmm. have to be Otherwise, you know, we can't we tell what's going to happen. Make you know? sure that the world knows that we're serious, that we're engaged, that we're not going to pull back, that, that our, that our word matters. And if we do that, we can create a force that will take out ISIS both in Iraq uh, and in Just Syria, quit which funding them, quit giving them because of what weapons. Obama's done by pulling back. I want to go even Rubio. deeper, and I want to go even deeper in that direction because I think the belief that somehow by retreating, America makes the world safer has been disproven every single time it's ever been tried. Syria is a perfect yeah. example. The founders were wrong. The in Syria was not Maybe he didn't United catch States. that from his Cuban experience. background. He didn't and understand about foreign entanglements. But in America, we had a policy that worked very well for us we while his ancestors were in Cuba. He's not even qualified under the Constitution to run for president. He doesn't have, uh, he wasn't born of American citizens and he doesn't understand American uh, history either. He doesn't have any appreciation for or understanding of a foreign policy that worked until Woodrow Wilson. The 20th century has been a disaster for America and these people up here are a disaster for America. Except for uh, Rand Paul who's opposed it. Donald Trump opposed it, although Donald Trump says, I'm a very militaristic person. Did you notice that? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'm a very militaristic person, but I wouldn't go to Iraq. Yeah. And he is a very militaristic person, unfortunately. Uh, when the war, uh, when the issue occurred in 2003, I suggested to President Bush uh, that he not go to war. Okay, so I, I just <laughs> want that on the record. And, you know, he a lot of people it. are very yeah. much against us getting involved right now uh, with global jihadism. And they, they, they refer back to our invasion of Iraq, and they seem to think that that was what caused it. What caused it was withdrawing from there and uh, creating a vacuum, which allowed this terrible situation to occur. The only vacuum but that exists exists in their lives. Again, the number for the 28-hour Infowars money bomb is 888-253-3139. You can make a donation there. We have uh, some of the crew that is standing there to talk to you, as well as operators standing by. We have a special up until 10 p.m., 30% off of Super Male Vitality. We also have 20% uh, off of Brain Force Silver Bullet. We have 15% off of Deep Cleanse, Secret 12, our B12 formulation, and Oxy Powder. So we're trying to offer this as a thank you to those of you who have supported us uh, by supporting your health, who have supported this operation. We're trying to take this to the next level, trying to get to satellite uh, broadcasts where we can reach 400 million people with $1 million. We hope that you can stand with us with that. Uh, if you are struggling financially, as many of us are, we're trying to offer you some discounts off of products as well. And again, we have a special until 10 p.m., 30% off Super Male Vitality. Free shipping on everything that you buy. Again, that number is 888-253-3139. This is a 28-hour InfoWars Money Bomb. We're here live with Jakari Jackson, Leanne McAdoo. I'm David Knight. Let's get back to the debate. Well, the only reason there's a vacuum over there is because we put the vacuum in the room. You yeah. couldn't have created a vacuum if we didn't place it there. That's yes. what people keep forgetting. They keep saying, oh, we pulled out. That created a vacuum. We we made that vacuum. We created that. We put that there so that could happen. So that's, I hate hearing that whole term. You know, we created a vacuum in Iraq, didn't we, uh, Joe? We also created a vacuum in Libya. And we have a festering situation in Libya because we took down Gaddafi long after he was no longer a threat to anyone. He had not bothered anybody in decades. But we took that down, Benghazi was a part of that, and now that it's become a breeding ground for jihadists and for terrorism. Yeah, Libya used to be a beautiful place. Now it looks like the West Bank, now it looks like Gaza. It's yeah. horrible. Anytime we intervene, we make the situation 10 times worse. We're not Team America World Police. That's what people have to remember. We have to stop getting into people's business. We need to also get people to understand, as we've been trying to point out here at InfoWars for a very long time, and we've seen this today, 
multiple news reports documenting how the United States created ISIS. Understand that when you hear these people tell you that we have to go to war to fight ISIS. Understand these people started ISIS along with the Democrats. They created ISIS. It's a creation of American foreign policy, just like Al Qaeda is. We need to stop doing that. We are the source of the problem there, and they are escalating this into a direct confrontation with the Russians, both in Syria and in the Ukraine.